Adobe is bringing new AI features to all of their apps, and it's not just an image generator. If you go to firefly.adobe.com right now, you'll see what's coming soon and what's available right now in beta. In addition to the image generator, right now you can create custom textiles and textures using just a text prompt. This could be like grass, this could be fur, concrete, pretty much any texture, just typing it out. And then we have a bunch of crazy tools that are not out yet, but are in progress. The first tool that's coming is called in painting. This will allow you to add, remove, or change any selection in an image. This is great if you want to create different variations of a specific part of an image, or if you want to add something in a specific area of a photo. Number two is something that is in the works, but is not confirmed yet, and that's video editing. In the video trailer for this, there was like a three second segment where it shows a video being changed with text prop from a summer video into a winter video. Another cool thing we saw, which is really good for illustrators as well as graphic designers, is you can basically sample brushes or create brushes based off of an image. And so this is super helpful because typically you would have to pay for custom brushes, but now if you can create them, this saves you a lot of money as a designer. We also saw the ability to create templates a lot easier, text to templates, which allows you to create custom templates just using text. One of the most popular features that was seen in the demo video was actually the ability to turn a drawing of a logo and actually generate vectors based off of it. This is really helpful if you don't have really good illustration skills like myself, but have the idea in mind and wanna create different variations to test with. This goes even further and sketch to image is gonna be a full thing. So basically turning any drawing into a real life image. There's a couple more things that are particularly interesting for illustrators. One is text to vectors. So the ability to generate any vector. So this could be like a leaf, a branch, a rock, simply using AI. There's also text to pattern, which will help you create seamless tiling patterns with just a text prompt. And lastly, we have stuff that is helpful for 3D as well as mockups. So number one is the ability to turn any 3D mockup into a real life image. And lastly, there's something called personalized results or the ability to basically train your AI. In the demo, they show example of maybe your headphones company and you want to get different product photos with your headphones in it they showed examples of it in a backpack in a studio and how this is possible is you train the ai with different images of your product and it'll be able to generate it in different scenarios this makes it way easier to create custom mock-ups as most mock-up marketplaces aren't unique a lot of people have access to the same mock-ups that everyone else had now there's probably two questions that people have number one is are you able to sell the work that you create in this beta the answer is no according to adobe at the moment but i do imagine this changes once this isn't a beta anymore and number two is how do they train the models? They consider their model training ethical. The reason they say this is because the AI is actually generated off of Adobe stock photos. The good thing is this isn't trained on anyone who hasn't allowed access to these photos. Other image generators basically take images from just all over the internet and train the model on it. And a lot of people think this is unethical because people didn't get permission. But on the other hand, Adobe trained their model on Adobe stock photos. The contributors of Adobe stock photo didn't really know that their photos were being trained. It was somewhere in the terms of service, but a lot of people were unaware of this. Adobe however, does say that you can basically opt out of it so that if you don't want your photos trained, you can just do that within Adobe Stock Photo. If you're interested in trying this out, right now they have a beta and right now there's a wait list, so you will have to sign up. But if you wanna see different examples or get to know about this AI a little bit more, they also have a Discord. Once we get access, we're gonna do a full tutorial on it. So make sure to stay subscribed.